Hey there viewers. Diabetes is a metabolic disease characterized by elevated levels of blood glucose. If left undiagnosed, it may cause serious damage to the heart, blood vessels, eyes, kidneys and nerves. The fact that this illness affects roughly 422 million people worldwide may come as a surprise. About 1.5 million lives are lost annually as a direct result of diabetes. But what exactly are some of the red flags that could indicate that you have diabetes? In the video that we are going to discuss today, 11 common signs of diabetes will be discussed, some of which you may or may not be ignoring. It is important to consult a doctor before making major dietary changes, especially if you have diabetes or are worried about how certain foods might affect your blood sugar levels. Without wasting any more time, let's get started. 1. Excessive thirst. Polydipsia, also known as excessive thirst, is one of the most prominent symptoms associated with diabetes. This condition arises when there is an excessive amount of glucose, sugar, present in the blood. In a healthy individual, the kidneys will recycle the glucose that has been removed from the bloodstream. However, when blood glucose levels are too high, the kidneys are unable to keep up, and the excess glucose is excreted into the urine, dragging fluids from the tissues along with it. This process, known as osmotic diuresis, causes the body to become very dehydrated in a short amount of time. Moreover, having high blood sugar may cause a dry mouth, which amplifies the feeling of thirst even further. The correct management of diabetes, which typically includes taking medication, making adjustments to one's diet, and monitoring one's blood glucose levels in order to maintain them within a healthy range, is necessary for breaking this cycle in order to be successful. People who have diabetes should make it a priority to drink plenty of water as well as beverages that are low in sugar and do not contain caffeine. It aids in replacing the fluids lost as a result of the frequent urination that high blood sugar levels cause. Fruits such as cucumber have a high water content and they do not contribute an excessive amount of sugar or calories to the diet, making them beneficial for rehydration. 2. Increased urination. As was just stated, diabetes causes an increase in the desire to drink more water in order to make up for the volume of fluid that is lost as a result of the removal of excess sugar from the blood. The kidneys remove the glucose from the blood and excrete it in the urine, increasing both the volume and frequency of urination. In order to lessen the side effects of frequent urination, maintaining proper hydration is essential. However, it is equally essential to keep blood sugar levels under control to mitigate this risk. Blood glucose levels may be helped to remain stable by eating foods that have a low glycemic index. These foods include non-starchy vegetables like leafy greens. 3. Excessive weight loss. You might have heard that obesity increases the risk of high blood sugar, but don't get too shocked. As we say, it also causes unexplained weight loss. When you have high levels of sugar in your bloodstream, your body is unable to produce enough insulin or might not be able to process the existing insulin to convert glucose into energy. That's when the brain thinks the body's starving and starts consuming muscle and body fat instead, which may lead to weight loss. 4. Persistent hunger. Insulin resistance is a common and serious complication of diabetes. In people who have diabetes, either their bodies do not produce enough insulin or they are unable to make good use of the insulin they do produce. And glucose needs insulin in order to enter the cells of the body. Even after eating, if there is an inconsistency in the amount of insulin in the blood, our body will continue to believe it needs more food, which will cause persistent hunger. You need to re-evaluate your diet in light of the fact that persistent hunger may lead to mindless munching, which in turn may lead to further weight gain. A diet high in fibre may help manage this symptom. Foods like beans, whole grains and lentils slow down the digestion and absorption of carbohydrates, providing a steady supply of energy and reducing hunger spikes. Additionally, proteins from sources like tofu, fish and chicken may help keep hunger at bay. 5. Endless tiredness. To put it simply, our bodies simply cannot function without glucose. These glucose molecules serve as the primary source of energy for the cells in our bodies to function in an effective manner. Your next thought is probably going to be about how a person with diabetes may experience feelings of hunger. 
You might be aware that insulin helps glucose enter cells because the majority of it is present in the bloodstream. However, the production of insulin by the pancreas drops when there is an increase in the amount of sugar in the blood. This makes it more difficult for glucose to enter the cells of the body. As a consequence of this, the cells in our bodies do not receive the necessary amount of energy, which results in ongoing tiredness. In order for the body to maintain its supply of energy, carbohydrates are absolutely necessary. Because of this, you ought to incorporate items such as quinoa into your diet, which is a whole grain abundant in complex carbohydrates. These carbohydrates are digested slowly, which results in a steady release of energy over time. Consuming complex carbohydrates helps to maintain stable blood sugar levels and provides sustained energy, which may help combat the fatigue that is associated with having high blood sugar. 6. Poor vision. A light sensitive layer of cells located at the back of the eye is called the retina. In diabetic retinopathy, high blood sugar damages the blood vessels in the retina. These blood vessels frequently swell up and even leak, which may lead to issues with one's vision as well as a complete halt in the flow of blood to the eyes. Even though new blood vessels may occasionally form, this is not a normal occurrence and they may lead to even more severe vision issues. Be aware that it almost always affects both of your eyes and it may cause your vision to worsen if it is left untreated. 7. Disturbed mental health. In addition to being detrimental to your physical health, having high blood sugar may also put your mental health in jeopardy. Alcohol may also have this effect. Anxiety and depression affect a significant percentage of people who have diabetes, particularly women. In actuality, between 30 and 40% of diabetics report having anxiety. But how exactly might you handle the situation? Brown rice, quinoa and bread made with whole wheat are examples of whole grains that contain complex carbohydrates. Because these carbohydrates are slowly digested, they lead to a steady release of glucose into the bloodstream. This consistent supply of glucose helps stabilise blood sugar levels, which helps prevent the mood swings and irritability that are frequently associated with fluctuations in blood sugar. 8. Difficulty in concentrating. Your brain is the control centre that governs how you feel as well as how you learn and remember information. And to perform all its duties effectively, the brain must draw its energy from the sugar that is present in your blood. That's why it has been demonstrated that shifts in blood sugar levels have a detrimental effect on cognitive function. A high blood sugar level can, over time, damage the blood vessels in the brain, which are responsible for carrying oxygen-rich blood. When there is not enough blood flowing to the brain, brain cells are at risk of dying off. This condition is known as brain atrophy, and it may eventually lead to vascular dementia, as well as problems with one's memory and their ability to think. A study found that people who have been diagnosed with type 2 diabetes have a risk of developing dementia that is 50% higher than average. 9. Bad breath. If the body is unable to produce insulin or effectively use insulin to provide energy for cells, a condition known as diabetic ketoacidosis may develop. Diabetic ketoacidosis is characterised by a fruity odour in the mouth. Instead, the liver begins to produce energy by breaking down fats when there is insufficient glucose uptake by cells. This process is called lipolysis. In this way, ketones are produced, which, when present in high enough quantities, may put your body into an unhealthy state. Those who suffer from type 1 diabetes are more likely to have issues with chronic bad breath. The odour that is commonly associated with diabetes-related bad breath is often compared to the smell of sour apples or pear drops. Some people have remarked that this odour is reminiscent of acetone or nail polish remover. 10. Dry and itchy skin with dark patches. Earlier in this video, we mentioned that high blood sugar leads to excessive urination. When your body fluids get drained out, your skin becomes dry and flaky. Moreover, people with diabetes often develop a condition called acantosis nigricans, it is a skin condition that causes a dark patch or band of velvety skin in body creases such as your neck, armpits or groin. It is a sign of insulin resistance and may be a sign of pre-diabetes or type 2 diabetes. People who have obesity experience these patches mostly. Additionally, a special protein called collagen makes the skin youthful and flawless. 
High blood sugar levels may affect the skin's collagen, forming a variety of yellow or reddish spots on the skin known as nacrobiosislipoidica. These skin conditions might not respond favorably to treatment with a topical lotion or cream. Bringing down your blood sugar level could very well be your best bet. Aside from that, focus on creating a diet filled with antioxidant supplements such as vitamin E and C to protect skin cells from oxidative damage and nourish the skin as well. 11. Slow wound healing and infection. Surprisingly, many people find their blood sugar has gone high when they notice a slow recovery rate for any wound. A high level of blood sugar may cause damage to the blood vessels and impair circulation, both of which are necessary for the delivery of nutrients and oxygen to injured tissues. Because of this slowdown in circulation, blood cannot reach the wound in time, which may delay the natural healing processes. In addition, many people who have diabetes also struggle with problems related to the activation of their immune systems. Damage to the function of neutrophils and a decrease in the activity of the antioxidant system are more likely to happen when the system is upset. This results in a decrease in the number of white blood cells that are normally sent to the site of a wound to combat infection. Because of this, the process of wound healing will take significantly more time and there will be an even greater chance of it becoming infected. You need to treat your blood sugar level, but apart from that, you need to focus on getting additional nutritional elements that will boost your immune system. Consuming foods such as kakadu plums, strawberries, and oranges that are high in vitamin C can help the body's ability to form collagen more quickly, which in turn speeds up the healing process for wounds. Other examples of foods that are rich in vitamin C include bell peppers, kiwis, and apricots. What are the potential risks of living with diabetes? Living with diabetes, particularly when it's not well controlled, may lead to a variety of complications that may affect nearly every part of the body. Besides the ones already discussed in this video, you should take a look at some other possible risks that come with having diabetes. 1. Cardiovascular disease. Individuals with diabetes are at a higher risk for various cardiovascular issues. High glucose levels may lead to the development of fatty deposits in blood vessel walls, which may impede blood flow and increase the chance of clot formation. This may lead to heart attacks, strokes and other circulatory problems. Managing blood pressure, cholesterol levels and not smoking are essential parts of reducing this risk. 2. Nerve damage. High blood sugar may cause diabetic neuropathy, which may start as a tingling sensation in the hands or feet and progress to pain and numbness. This occurs because high glucose levels may damage the small blood vessels that supply oxygen and nutrients to the nerves. In severe cases, neuropathy may affect digestion, urination and sexual function. 3. Kidney damage. The kidneys contain millions of tiny blood vessel clusters that filter waste from the blood. Diabetes may damage this delicate filtering system, leading to kidney failure or chronic kidney disease. Early intervention with medications and lifestyle changes may help preserve kidney function. 4. Hearing impairment. High blood sugar levels may damage the nerves and blood vessels in the inner ear, leading to a decrease in hearing ability. Regular hearing checks should be part of the health monitoring for people with diabetes. 5. Alzheimer's disease. The exact link between diabetes and Alzheimer's isn't completely understood, but it is known that type 2 diabetes may increase the risk of Alzheimer's and other dementias. Insulin resistance, which is a hallmark of type 2 diabetes, may interfere with the brain's ability to utilise insulin, which could lead to brain cell damage. 6. Gastroparesis. When blood glucose levels are high, it may cause damage to the vagus nerve, which controls the movement of food through the stomach and intestines. Gastroparesis may make blood glucose control more difficult due to unpredictable digestion times. Recognising these 11 symptoms may result in an early diagnosis and treatment, both of which are necessary for effective diabetes management. It is essential to keep in mind that not everyone who has diabetes will experience all of these symptoms, and those symptoms may sometimes be mild or appear to be absent altogether. If you or a loved one is experiencing any of these signs, it is critical to schedule an appointment with a doctor for testing and a diagnosis. By collaborating closely 
With a registered dietitian and a diabetes educator, a person may receive individualised guidance and support in managing their blood sugar levels. This enables the individual to maintain effective control over the levels of blood sugar in their body. Now that we have discussed the many signs of diabetes, let's dive into other topics of interest. Interested in knowing more about tips and tricks to shed pounds easily? Let's keep the conversation going with a couple more weight loss related videos. Shall we? Watch Lose Weight with These 10 Foods. You can also try a video on 16 quick but strange weight loss tips you can use. Go ahead, click one. Or better yet, watch both and learn more about weight loss and nutrition. Are you experiencing any of the notable symptoms mentioned earlier? Let us know in the comments below.